It seems like Kim Kardashian is finding herself in quite a sticky situation, and let me tell you, it's a bitter pill for her to swallow. You guessed it right. The new controversy is all about Kanye and his new flame, Bianca Sensori. You see, recently, Kanye and Bianca have been bombarded with wild claims of him being a controlling and enslaving husband ever since they tied the knot, and all along they've been keeping quiet about it. Mysterious, right? But not anymore, because Kanye has had enough of these outrageous accusations and is ready to defend his lady. This comes after a reporter decided to push his buttons by asking an unreasonable and downright upsetting question. They had the audacity to question if Bianca had any free will. Well, Kanye wasn't having any of it. He snuck that phone right out of their hands and demanded answers. He clapped back saying, You think because you're a white woman, you can walk up on me like that and ask me some dumb ish like that asking me about my wife if she has free will? Are you crazy? Is that your job to go up to every celebrity and ask them some dumb questions about their wives? Was it wrong for you to ask me about my wife some damn disrespectful ish like that? She's TMZ, she's TMZ. What do you feel like it's okay I'm a human being? All of this TMZ, this 30 miles on your set to like up, all this bullshit. I don't give a fuck what y'all got to do. What y'all gonna do? What y'all got to say? Don't come at me with that shit, ask me that. You think you can walk up on me like that? What do you think yeah. you can do? A white woman, you can walk up on me like that? And ask me some dumb ass shit like that? Ask me you're my wife, talking about if she got free will? Are you crazy? You ain't saying this America. You got free will or you work for the devil? Kanye even questioned why the reporter asked dumb questions about his wife, challenging them to answer his question before potentially facing arrests for taking the phone. He also asked where the reporter was when he couldn't see his kids, something Kanye has consistently alleged in recent years. He claimed, you got free will or you work for the devil. You wasn't asking me when I couldn't see my kids and now only have visitation and don't have the rights to where they go to school. You got questions for that or are you part of the system? You got free will or you work for the devil? The reporter tried to deflect, explaining she just needed her phone, but Kanye refused before trolling her, saying, No, answer the question. I'm supposed to answer your questions. Answer my question. I got your phone now. They're going to arrest me for taking your phone? Things escalated quickly as it turned into a full-blown brawl, with Kanye standing up for his wife's honor. People around them tried to calm the storm, but instead of backing down, Kanye did something unexpected. He offered the reporter a job. Talk about turning the tables. Now I know you must be wondering who was this reporter anyway. Well, the reporter was later identified as a comedian, Melanie Miller. For those of you who don't know Miller, she is the same woman who went viral after she jogged barefoot with ASAP Rocky while asking him questions. And according to recent reports, she dropped by TMZ's podcast to give her take on the situation and did not hold back. She said, I was alarmed. I was like, whoa, I don't see that one coming because I've interviewed him before and he never talks to me so i'm thinking i'll just see if he'll talk to me it's been very well talked about that he won't let bianca sensori have an instagram because he's trying to protect her so i'm saying this is an easy opportunity for you to be like of course i'm not controlling her that's all that i had going on going into it after explaining she didn't mean any harm and was giving him a chance to shoot down internet rumors she gave her two cents on kanye saying with everything that he's done people deserve answers to this kind of stuff if bianca is okay with it that's fine if she's Posting those photos of her and her essentially naked body on her own Instagram because she wants to, because she wants to put that out there, fine. But he's doing it. He has such disrespect for women. She wasn't the only one to voice her opinion. A body language expert named Judy James chimed in on this whole situation. She claimed that Kanye's recent actions disingenuous and that fans would love it if he addressed the speculations head on instead of getting defensive and angry. Now, honestly, I just find it fascinating how these two individuals had 
had opinions on how Kanye should have responded. Let me take you through why this is such an unfair expectation. Firstly, Kanye has faced accusations of controlling his wife since their marriage. These speculations have lingered for quite some time and throughout it all, Kanye has chosen to take the high road and not directly address them. This shows a level of restraint and maturity on his part. However, even the most patient individuals have their limits and it seems that Kanye reached his breaking point during this particular incident. Imagine constantly being accused of something and having to endure the scrutiny of the public eye. It's only natural for someone to eventually react defensively when confronted with such a sensitive topic. Not to mention, the reporter's audacity to question Kanye about controlling his wife was outright disrespect. After all, the dynamics of their relationship was personal and none of anyone's business. Of course, the way Kanye handled the situation is not entirely justified. However, he's a human being with emotions and breaking points just like anyone else. After being poked and prodded for so long, it's not surprising that he finally reached his limit. So what did people expect of Kanye in this situation? Should he have simply thanked the reporter for the question? It's unlikely that anyone would genuinely expect that. Anyway, now I know some of you must be wondering how does this have Kim upset? Well, and here's where it gets really interesting. You see, Critics have been accusing Kim of trying to manipulate the media to tear down Kanye and Bianca's relationship. Previously, many critics have claimed that TMZ often serves as a mouthpiece for the Kardashians, promoting their agenda and providing a platform for their narratives. Considering that, isn't it suspicious that out of all the reporters who could have approached Kanye, a TMZ reporter was the one to ask about his control over his new wife Bianca? And to top it all off, this line of questioning seems rather peculiar because there are numerous other topics she could have discussed with Kanye at that moment. Kanye's recent album talks, his new footwear launch, and even his vulture merchandise would have been more logical subjects to explore. But the fact that the reporter chose to focus on Bianca and her relationship with Kanye rises, rises suspicions of a calculated move to provoke and antagonize him. To no surprise, many fans have speculated that this incident was a sneaky tactic orchestrated by the Kardashians to further their agenda. And this couldn't be too far-fetched because Bianca herself has claimed to be tired of Kim attacking Kanye and painting them in a negative light. This assertion adds credibility to the notion that there is a hidden agenda behind the TMZ reporter's line of questioning. But interestingly, regardless of the agenda here, we have Kanye going all out to defend his new wife. Can you say plot twist? It seems like Kim's plan backfired and we're here for it. I mean, seriously, what was she thinking? And not just Kim, even the reporter walking up to a married man and asking him if he's controlling his wife based on her arm outfits? That's not just baseless, it's downright insensitive. I must admit, I'm scratching my head trying to understand why people feel the need to blow things out of proportion. I mean, let's not turn a molehill into a memorial. Bianca isn't a child and if she truly felt controlled, I'm sure she would have taken action. But here's a Kika, you have seen her fashion choices before she married Kanye. They're practically the same. So where do people get these claims of control? And let's not forget the irony here, the very person they claim is being controlled is the one who has been holding Kanye down during his controversies. Remember that recent alleged anti-Semitism incident? It was reported that Bianca was the reason he, po he apologized. Now that doesn't sound like someone being controlled, does it? That sounds like someone who has a voice and is respected for it. Clearly, this TMZ reporter missed the memo on Kanye and Bianca's relationship. She did not quite grasp the dynamics at play here. And while I don't condone anyone being treated poorly, perhaps you should have thought twice before approaching Kanye with these baseless speculations. We expect better from a seasoned reporter, don't we? That brings us to the end of this latest controversy surrounding Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, and his new wife, Bianca Sensori. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you believe the claims of Kanye controlling and enslaving Bianca? Or do you think it's just another media frenzy? And what about Kim's role in all of this? Let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned for more updates.